and welcome back to part three of this Tekkit tutorial series. Uh, in the last couple of episodes we've created a macerator and generators to power our industrial side of things and then we've compressed them and extracted them and cooked them in furnaces. But today we're going to be moving on to the equivalent exchange side of Tekkit, uh, which is basically the alchemy. So, to begin with, pretty much everything in the equivalent exchange requires a philosopher's stone. So to make a philosopher's stone you'll have to go to the nether and grab yourself a bit of glowstone. Uh, dig down, get yourself one diamond and some redstone. You may think, oh it's a diamond, it's fairly expensive, uh, but it's well worth it. You, m you may as well make one, because you need it in almost every recipe, as we'll find out later. Now this dust here is covalent dust, and it's created from uh, almost a full square of cobblestone and a block of charcoal. Now it has to be charcoal in order to get this. If it's coal, it won't work. But covalence dust comes in three types. There's a green one, a light blue, a dark blue, or lesser, medium, greater. And basically you use them to make the, the basic, more simple stuff that, that you can get in this mod. So once you've got that, you, you have to go and make, make yourself some medium covalence dust, which is an iron ingot and some redstone. And a greater covalence dust, which is a diamond and some coal. doesn't have to be charcoal this time, it has to be coal. Once you've got that, you can make yourself a divining rod. Now, a divining rod will show you how good things are. Like You, you use it by right-clicking on a rock, and it will tell you what materials are behind that rock. Now, the higher version you get, the better it'll be. So this first one can only search one block in front of you, the 3x3 three three square in front of you. And it's made by a stick and surrounded it in covalent dust, green colour. And then you move on to a medium, which is the lesser divining rod surrounded by medium dust, and the greater, which is the medium rod surrounded by greater dust. Now when I'm taking this one with me, I can give you a brief example. So now that I've got it, uh, what you can do is you can press G, and it will change the, dis the distance it can search for. So if we search here, for example, if we right click on the floor, it says divining rod suggests a value of around 1, and the best it can find is a 4. Now I think a 4 is gravel, and 1 is either dirt or stone. So if you press G again, it goes to 16. Uh, there's still nothing down there, still still only 1 and 4. If we go to 64, 64 squares down in a 3x3 three three square, so it'll be this block here, this one, this one, that 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 one. But all the way down. Best found 128. Now 128 is either iron or coal. So yeah, not much to be found here, but if we check another square, this one here, 49,152, which is uranium. So that will come in handy later on for building uranium bars to make generators. Alright, now, probably the most important part of equivalent exchange is the alchemical chest and the energy condenser. An alchemical chest is basically a huge chest which only fills up one square. It's bigger than a double large chest and it's, it's just handy to have around. And it's made by one of each convalence dust, some smelted stone, and a diamond, a chest and a couple of ingots. Now once you've got this you want to get rid of it straight away, although I'm going to take this one with me. You want to use it in the next recipe, which is to make an energy condenser. It's a bit of obsidian, which I've had to mine to, well you've well, had to go to the nether at some point and four diamonds and alchemicals. Now this is incredibly expensive if you're just starting out. But um oh, what am I doing? But it is highly recommended because I'll I'll show you why in a minute when we get around to my, my new little house over there. Now we're gonna make a nov uh it's not a nova catalyst, it's a destruction catalyst. Now a destruction catalyst it will take a bit to get at the beginning of the game, but once once you've got these things, then you'll be away away in no time. But if you're going to create it from scratch and you don't have an energy condenser, you put your philosopher's stone up here, surrounded by coal. Now this will create some alchemical coal, which is slightly higher up. Say so I think it's around double the value, or probably four times the value, since thinking about it, of a coal. So if a coal burns for eight. 8 units, this will probably burn for about 24, I would think. 
Uh, even that doesn't make sense. 24... 32. 32 it should burn for. And then you want to upgrade it again, doing the same thing, but with the alchemical coal to get a Mobius fuel. Now you'll need six of these to make a destruction catalyst. Uh, and to make six you'll eventually need uh, a stack and a bit of coal, which will get you 25 alchemical coal, and six Mobius fuel. Now I'll show you a more efficient way to get coal later on. Let's take one of these with me because we won't need it. Uh, and one of these maybe, and one of these. Uh, I'll show you a more efficient way to make these, just because it's far simpler. And you want to make some TNT, which is sand and gunpowder. And the most important part of the destruction catalyst is you need to make a Nova catalyst, which is basically a TNT and some Mobius fuel, and it create one of these. So you'll need four of these, four Nova catalysts. I've forgotten to add it in here, but you'll need four of them. And a flint and steel. Fresh, fresh one can't have already been used. If it's already used, it won't work. And finally, the destruction catalyst. Uh, we've done all this to get, so far, an energy condenser and a destruction catalyst. Now these two go hand in hand. These these will increase on oh, no, the divining rod, of course. These will increase your your diamond output, shall we say, by a vast amount. But you put a nova catalyst in each corner. So put the other outside squares with Mobius fuel and the flint steel in the middle. And if you're going to power a destruction catalyst, you'll have to fuel it with the coal, alchemical coal, Mobius fuel, uh, eta analysis fuel, glowstone or redstone. Now, we haven't, we haven't covered eta analysis fuel yet, but that's, that's way off in the distance. It's very expensive. So, first of all, I'm going to show you a little bit about this this chest. Now if we've got a metal house here and whack this down and I'll put the chest down as well just to show you. Let's put this chest down. Right now you can see look how huge this chest is. It's almost twice the size of a large chest. But the main thing that you're looking for is uh, this energy condenser. And what you would do is for example you'd, look, you'd get a diamond. I'll just grab one quickly. You'd get a diamond like this and then you'd go, oh, I've got all these, all these iron ingots, just, just lying around. Uh, when I can spot them on there, yeah. you go, oh, I've got all these iron ingots. Now what you do is you just dump them all in there, and as you can see, the stack will get smaller, and this green bar at the top will fill up. And one stack of iron ingots has given you an extra two diamonds. So if you said that it was something more expensive, like, uh, let's see, uranium. Oh, what I can spell. If, if I put like a couple of uranium in, 14 diamonds for two uranium. And are you telling me that's not worth it? Uh, so we'll just stash all this in here, and we'll get the vine rod out. Now I'm going to show you how to use this vine rod. So I'm just going to meet you at the bottom of my mine shaft, and I'll see you at the bottom. Right. Okay. So we're at the bottom of the mine shaft, and what you would do, like you can see, I haven't mined it out or anything. I've just dug a, a straight path. You would take your divining rod like so and tap on the wall and you see it goes oh you found 40 49,000 which is a lot of diamonds as you've just seen 49,000 is uranium so what you do is you get your destruction catalyst and you press V and it'll make a little noise and after it stops making a noise you'll see the little green bar and it's filled up now once that's filled where's my fuel gone? anyway it doesn't, doesn't matter once that's fueled uh, that tells you how far it will dig so I think the first, the first, like with no charge, that's three by three, and then it's sixteen by three, and then oh no, sixteen by three, uh, eight by three, and then sixteen by three, I should say. So we know there's, we know there's uranium down here. So if you right click, it'll just blast this out. I'll just get myself some decent fuel source. Oh, you can, uh, let's just get some coal. Now this will blast through coal very quickly and that's not what you want to happen so you don't want to be spending your coal too much because as you can see it's sort of dug a jagged rock out here uh, that's because it's run out of fuel on the way so we keep on digging get some torches up along the way so we don't get any monsters and you check again and it's it's still the way out in the distance so we'll just keep on digging get that little thing out as you can see we found some diamond 
So I'll just smash them, get rid of these, and then you pick up them up, and you check again. Still 49,000 in the distance, and we keep on going, keep on lighting it up, like so, and lo and behold, uranium. So now, uh, you've got your, your tools, and this, this is how, this is the best way, I would say, to get materials. Was that diamond in the roof? No. So you check the next bit along, 320, it's not worth it. 320, nah, nah. Still 320, 256 is even worse. I wouldn't go for anything high, lower than 2048. Now 2048 is gold. So you just check like this, 512, it's pretty depressing down here. And then 512, 512. Am I on the right setting? Yeah. 2048. So we go all sorted, right? We'll just go down here. Now, as you can see, I forgot to mention, you get this little blob. Now, th this little blob is basically here to. I'll just turn off creative mode. This little blob's here to so that your game doesn't lag. Usually, what used to happen in old versions is everything would just land on the spot and there'd be thousands of blocks, maybe not thousands. Like a hundred blocks there, but now it's all in one confined package, and you walk over it, and boom, you've got it all in here. So we're looking for this gold, like so. Uh, it's still, still a way off. Keep on digging, and there we go. There's the gold. So we'll just smash this up. So we've got it. And you, you want to light these up because if you get lucky and say you've blasted out all this, there's no. There's not connecting beams between anything because there's just been solid blocks of gold or whatever. Then, you, cause, because we're down at 10 depth, which I would recommend mining at, because that's the the best place to get diamonds from. Uh, what? Let's make a data. Uh, yeah, you'll get things like slimes and endermen because it's a fairly tall tall holes and it's just a nightmare. Now I'm gonna meet you at the top. I oh, probably won't because I'll be there in a second. And I'm going to show you what you do once you've uh, done a lot of strip mining. Because eventually, you'll end up thinking and go, oh, well, I've done all this now. And uh, so what we're going to do. Well, you go back here and you just throw everything in. Uh, like nickelite. Nickelite's always good. You put all this in. Uh, nickelite's good to burn. Might as well. I'm not going to use it for anything. And that will just churn away. And as you can see, each block is roughly, each, well, not roughly, each cobblestone's one. Look how fast nickelite goes. Boom, diamond, and then we're back on the stone. So if I move this over one, I think a stack of nickelite is one diamond. Yeah, looks that way. And you just leave that going. So, what I'll show you next time is I'll show you how to make a quarry and how to fuel, uh, make some separator pipes and some sorting pipes and then pump like the the riffraff into here so like all your stone and dirt will come into here and then everything else will go into special chests ready to smelt or like over there for example and get ready to smelt and macerate so hope you've enjoyed this and i hope you found it useful uh subscribe and you know tell, tell your friends thanks for watching and i'll see you next time thank you for watching <laughs>